is Karen Irene Tal, and in collaboration with Tracy Burkett of the College of Charleston, um, we worked on a, a local network, communication network study that I'd like to present to you today. Um, and really what we were looking at is the potential for a local network to serve as a policy instrument. Um, working or building off of diffusion of innovation studies and other network studies, we know that networks can really be an effective means by which to pro proliferate sustainable um, initiatives. And we really wanted to see if we could extend uh, the city of Charleston's sustainability program into the hotel um, uh, community or hotel industry through, through a communication network. So the location of the study was Charleston, South Carolina. You can see on the map that it's um, along the coast, the South Carolinian coast, about halfway down. Um, and on the, uh, the other side of the screen, you see the city, the city limits are um, defined by dark pink. When we're talking about Charleston, South Carolina as a, a tourist destination, however, what we're really talking about um, to the greater extent is the peninsula of Charleston, which you can see um, is really the focal point of tourism. Um, and this was, so this re really amounted to the study locations um, in terms of respondents, even though we did try to reach out to any hotel um, that was in within um, the city of Charleston city limits. But all of the respondents, again, were in this very concentrated geographic region that serves as the tourist destination. And it's a popular tourist destination at that. Um, within the city of Charleston, in 2010, the Charleston Green Business Challenge was established. Um, it is a, a, a modeled on ICLE, which is the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives. And the program really tries to encourage um, local businesses and institutions to promote environmental sustainability through practical measures. It is a voluntary program. Charleston, South Carolina is a more conservative part of the world. It's not known to be um, particularly strong in terms of environmental initiatives. So this um, is definitely in keeping with the, the general um, political uh, climate that this is a voluntary program because you do have your exceptions too. Some people are really um, quite uh, quite progressive in terms of the environmental initiatives. Um, the city works in co collaboration with some local partners. Local, Low Country Local First is an organization that really supports um, sustainable businesses, promotes them. The Sustainability Institute um, works with uh, some um, environmental initiatives like energy savings and they help businesses put in uh, or retrofit um, light fixtures for example so very practical hands-on kinds of application applications um, and the uh, charleston metro chamber of commerce has um, a smaller uh, green initiative that's also a point of collaboration between the city and then also the carolina green fair is an annual event that promotes and supports um, green businesses locally so what we did in our study was we first of all had to locate businesses and we used property zip codes to identify them as being within the city of Charleston. We cross-referenced this with Smith Travel Research um, from the Office of Tourism Analysis at the College of Charleston, their list of hoteliers. And then finally, we did an online check of hotels. Hotels tend to change ownership, change brands quite um, quite often in um this area. So we, we did want to double check that all the hotels we had were operative and also operating under the brand that, that we had listed. Um, we then got a general manage, manager directory from the Charleston Area Convention Center, Visitor and Convention Bureau, and we contacted hotel managers by phone. Um, those who agreed to take the survey, we emailed a link. And then the network matrix was analyzed using Usenet software. In addition to the hotels, which really formed uh, the network itself, as defined in the study. Um, we looked at external groups as well, and the rationale there was that we wanted to um, ultimately create a multi-network approach to proliferating sustainability, so really build off the local expertise that existed, the relationships that the city of Charleston had already cultivated, and bring those all together to help support any hotels that might um, be uh, willing to adopt environmental initiatives. Um, this multi-network approach has also been studied in, in a few studies. I've listed one there, Beaumont and Dredge. And really what they argue is that multi-networks um, 
really do bring um, a, a kind of a greater than a, a, the sum being greater than the parts um, by uh, adding to uh, kind of pooling knowledge and really um, identifying players who can come in, in in strategic or important ways to um, extend uh, an initiative like an environmental initiative. So um, there, there is suggestion that this is a very viable way to um, proliferate local initiatives. What our results um, suggested, well, firstly, we had a 49% response rate, so um, slightly less, less than half of the hotels, hotel GMs completed the surveys. Uh, of these, 58% were locally owned um, and slightly less were either na a national franchise, national chain or independently owned by non-local interest. And then seven of these already had environmental management or certification programs. Three had more than one. What we found when we started looking at the network um, was a, a really, um, well, sorry, let me, let me first describe what we looked at specifically. Density, which is a measure of group cohesion, really looks at the overall structure of the network. And centrality is more concerned with who are the most active players, who are the most integral, who have status, um, who has status within a, in a specified network. And we looked at these again between hotel managers who were defined as a communication network and between hotel managers and external groups. What we found was that internal um, ties for the network as a whole were really quite diffuse. We thought specifically for hotels, uh, general managers who were owned by the same company, for example, we really assumed that uh, we would see some communication um, on a maybe weekly basis, um, on uh, at least ongoing communication between the hotel managers. And we really didn't see that. Um, but also as the overall network ties uh, were, were not as strong as we had assumed. When we um, took out um, the hotels that hadn't responded, that density measure went up slightly to 73% for respondents only. But what, um, what we did find was when we added in external act actors, the density actually increased, which was um, an, an unexpected finding. When we looked at centrality measures, we found uh, but this was particularly low too. Nobody really emerged as a strong or integral uh, member of the communication network, um, with the exception of an external actor. And in this case, it was the, the Charleston Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, they really emerged as the most uh, influential of all the actors within um, the network, uh, although we hadn't necessarily included them originally, or we hadn't um, assumed them to be part of the network. So as an overall finding, we did find very little centralization, again, or group cohesion within the local industry. Um, it appears that even within a small uh, or concentrated geographic area, there's very little um, communication that takes place. We also asked general managers for the um, frequency of communication uh, for each of the, the ties that they identified. And again, we saw very infrequent communication between general managers, maybe on uh, a bi-monthly or even six monthly basis, they might run into each other at um, a local convention, um, but certainly there wasn't ongoing communication. There was uh, very little ever, uh, evidence of collaboration. So we didn't really find anyone um, in terms of uh, the centrality who appeared to be a viable communication broker, with the exception of the Charleston Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, which did appear to have um, not only strong communication ties, as well as a high frequency, in some cases, general managers uh, reported to communicating with them almost on a daily basis. But we also found a lot of in-degrees. Um, they weren't surveyed for out degrees, but in terms of in-degrees, um, it was uh, very high, which suggests both prestige and influence um, among local hoteliers for the CACVB. <clears throat> Excuse me. As an industry insider, the CACVB already is performing important industry functions and has the trust um, of the industry. A lot of times when you are looking at policy issues, local um, government is seen as being out of touch with industry, not necessarily 
not necessarily relevant or sympathetic to industry needs. So if we were to use CACVB as a broker of information, this would certainly prove an, inf uh, an advantage. Um, in addition, there is a kind of sister relationship, as it was described by the, by the city, between the CACVB and the, Charleston, um, the city of Charleston, which could also be leveraged. That's an existing relationship, and it could also be leveraged um, should the CACVB um, serve as this communication broker to, to pass on information about sustainable initiatives, as well as to set a, a general expectation at the destination um, uh, that, that sustainability is desirable. Um, and finally, they, and by they I mean the city and the CACVB, um, have an overall view of a destination. We know one of the obstacles to the proliferation of, of um, environmental initiatives is that this highly competitive environment um, where short-term gains are really the focus for a lot of general managers of hotels. But we can um, uh, perhaps look at the long-term viability um, of an area through the CA, CBB and the city and um, and as well as the overall prestige, getting again away from um, the individual competition uh, as, a, as a means, uh, as common ground for establishing the importance of environmental um, programs at a destination. Um, and this, uh, this finding in the study that um, the, the CACVB was influential does correspond with at least one other study um, where marketing and managing organizations were recognized as being central at a destination. Um, however, there is a lack of generalizable, generalizability because this was a case study. Um, also, one of the greatest limitations of our study was the initial assumption that you could base a communication network on an industry sector, which clearly was not the case. Um, and finally, a, a limitation in this case is that the support of the CACVB for playing the role of communication broker and supporting proliferation of sustainable measures was not assessed. Um, as for future, for future research, um, it would be very interesting, I think, to see uh, what um, role could be defined for a, CAC, uh, for a CVB or DMO and, um, and really compare what a DMO might be able to do with a destination where one is not involved in sustainability and really assess um, the efficacy of, of using them in this way. Um, I thank you for your attention and I uh, hope that this has proved um, helpful to you. Just um, no, no, it's fine with you. Um, so I have this destined folder on my desktop, and that sort of just it's because it's completes the screen, it, it's not there right now, which is really annoying.
Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you. Are you pulling your way out?